Hey, happy holidays to you and yours. Um, so I have in uh, Menifee a internet service provider called Frontier. And if you're in a newer community, you're gonna often have Frontier's fiber uh, pre-pulled into your neighborhood. So if you look over there, you can see those two boxes. The one on the left is a transformer for Southern California Edison. The one on the right is the fiber pull. So Frontier pulls in big huge trunks of fiber and then there are runs to each of the houses in the community. So if you look down into there, uh, you can see that uh, you've got some um, basically conduit, like plastic flexi conduit coming up. And then the fiber uh, comes up. So this is the fiber that goes out to that box. Um, that you saw outside comes up into this. This is their fiber converter. So this is gonna go from fiber um, to coax. This runs down uh, into the house. And so I call them because this is the Wi-Fi router um, that it comes with. And it was okay. It was okay for a while. I don't like the IP address that it uses. It uses a, a non-standard 192.168.254 and it puts the gateway at like .254 instead of .0, which for me as a CCNA network guy, that's what I'm expecting. So this was out of the ordinary. Anyway, so I have a Wi-Fi 6 router with external um, antennas and it does MIMO beamforming. So you know, the, the direction that the network device is, is the direction that the signal is sent to. <clears throat> so you just get better RF performance. But anyway, the point of this video, I called the Frontier Tech Support and I said, hey, I wanna ditch this thing. I wanna put in my new, what do I do? And they're like, oh, you just plug in the new one. And I'm thinking, no, that, that can't be right. Because when you turn this on, it negotiates. And this is only expecting one of these. So to have a second one, that's gonna ignore the second one, the new one, um, which is exactly what happened. And uh, so the sequence that I ended up following to get everything to work is, um, so KB Homes, when they build, you're gonna have these access panels outside. Let's see, can you see that on the camera? Is it still recording? I hope it is, the screen was just blank. Yep, yeah, it is. Um, so, this can be your communications, this can be your telephone, this of course is your power, and then if you have um, solar panels, you're gonna have the additional information. So when you pop the six screws, this is the panel that's gonna be there. They always run a uh, uh, 110 outlet box to this. Um, just as a side note, they left this thing flopping. So if you come out and this thing's loose at all, make them come back and tighten that, because that's not safe. Uh, to have a 110 box just flopping so anyway so what i ended up doing was pulling the power so i unplugged this i uh put up my new wi-fi router and i left it unplugged um you know physically unplugged came back out here turned this back on what's going to happen is it's kind of a slow process the power is going to come on after a few seconds that'll blink um kind of quickly and the, everything seems normal It'll stay dark for a minute or two, so it'll actually have about 15 seconds of grief. And then the optical comes on, but then it blinks slowly. And uh, that's the optical sync between here and, you know, their head end over there. Um, and to their back office, is it, it gets its IP address. Uh, this is your wide area network interface IP address. Um, if you kind of ever want to know what that is or what it means, that's this guy. So when you look at the WAN address of your router, it's the address that this guy got assigned. So once this was all up, um, the rest of this was blank. So I just had the first two greens. And then I went inside and I plugged in um, my Wi-Fi router that I wanted. And uh, yeah, it came right up. And so it took it a few seconds. And then after that, your LAN activity light comes on. So, um, so that's the process of replacing your Wi-Fi router and a just brief description of Frontier and the fiber. So uh, I've had down for a year, because I had this turned on before I even moved in, um, and I actually helped them pull the fiber to the um, to the curb, which was kind of funny and cool. I was watching him struggle by himself, and finally I'm like, okay, I gotta help this guy. And uh, so we pulled fish through, pulled the fiber through, terminated it. Um, he started to run 
this network cable inside my house and he starts stapling and I'm like oh no 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 <laughs> the worst thing you can do to cat5 is staple it there's, there's twisted pairs in there and what makes cat5 cable work is those pairs always have that 90 degree orientation to each other so whatever interference this one picks up this one picks it up perfectly out of phase so if you balance it at the end it sums to zero well as soon as you crimp it now you've changed that perfectly perpendicular relationship and even if you hand spin it you're never going to get that perfect twist but anyway so i helped him and said you know don't staple you know use like a clip or something else that doesn't do any physical damage to the outside of the wire and um, so anyway my point in all that was I've had it for a year now uh, it's been great we do the auto pay I think it was like 49 normally and that drops it to like 45 or I don't know maybe it's 39 bucks I don't know don't care and uh, so I've had it for a year now it's been great service and then there was another point I was gonna make um, oh and Wi-Fi 6 if you're running Wi-Fi there's really no point in doing gigabit because um, Wi-Fi 6 and I've got a brand new router like I said it's got beam forming and all the bells and whistles and the max it gets up to is like 360 uh, the nice thing about fiber is I get that up and down um, so I can push up 360 and um, with this old router I was getting close to 360 back um, on my new router I noticed it was at like 250 um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that but really you know streaming xbox live uh streaming different things maybe youtube in the future um you know 250 is, is fine so now after you replace this now you have to go around all your devices in the house and um get them to renew so um so yeah now i'm in the process of that so anyway put your comments below see how this helped you or if it didn't help you any questions any things didn't hit or uh, if you have frontier um, and you want to comment on your service, go ahead, or if you have questions about it, I'll help as the best I can. So.